for the serious gamer. Hey guys, this is Matimio, and today I'm here to bring you some Medal of Honor gameplay and commentary for the Next Gen Tactics Directors Contest. And now it appears I start this video off just dandy with a nice little headshot to the face by a sniper, and it's kind of kind of suits the gameplay because this week's uh, theme for the contest is struggling gameplay. So I'm going to kind of be showcasing uh, some gameplay where I'm, I'm kind of struggling, the enemy team is kind of kicking me in the face and dominating me. Uh, but hopefully I can give you guys some helpful tips on how to avoid many of these situations and hopefully improve your gameplay. Uh, but first I want to kind of just say that Medal of Honor in general is, is a hard game to do well in. It's at least compared to other games where you're not going to be 50 and 0 or you know, have super high KDs. It's definitely possible, and I've definitely done it. Wow, I sound like an egotistical idiot. Um, but in the most case, like, some games, it, just nothing works. You're just constantly getting sniped. You know, people who just, you don't ever see anyone, but they somehow see you. And it's just, it gets really frustrating. But uh, that aside, I actually do make a lot of mistakes in this game, and I'll give you guys some of the reasons why. Okay, so the first reason is the fact that I go out in the middle of the map so often, it's embarrassing. And if you play first-person shooters, you know, and I even know this, that if you go out in the middle of the map, it just leaves you open to so many different angles that the enemy can shoot you from, and you die a lot when you do this. And I thought right here, after I get this kill, I'm like, all right, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I got one kill under my belt, let's go out in the middle and ruin it completely. And that's exactly what I do here. I get to this little crate thing, and then I get sniped. Yeah, it was, it was dandy. Um... And then I, I, I'm like, okay, you know, let's, that was fun, let's do it again. And I actually go back to the middle and get sniped, or not sniped, but um, killed pretty quickly. And it's kind of pathetic. But yeah, really, just try to stay out of the middle for any kind of first-person shooter, but especially for Medal of Honor, because people die really quickly, and that includes you. So if someone starts to shoot at you, you probably don't, you're not going to have a lot of time to actually react, like right there. It's just like, I saw the bullets and then I died. So, yeah. Uh, stay out of the middle. It's it's a zone you do not want to be in. Now another thing you're gonna want to do is shoot people in the face, and I mean this quite literally. Actually, shoot people in the head. Uh, in this game, body shots don't do as much damage as headshots, and I know that's that sounds kind of stupid to say, but headshots in this game do a lot of damage. And there's a lot of times, and especially right here, you're gonna see many examples where I go for a lot of body shots, uh, but I don't actually get the kill, and I just kind of waste bullets on people. And if I actually went for the headshots, it would have been easy kills for me. And there's been numerous times where I will actually get uh, shots off before the enemy will, will uh, start firing at me. But because I'm going for the body and they're, they actually go for headshots on me, they're going to win the battle. And that happens to me all the time. And this guy here just embarrasses me. I just, yeah, it was bad. Um, so yeah, go for headshots. They're not very hard to get in this game because people don't, or people don't really move very quickly because it's a little bit more of a sluggish game. Uh, so it's a little, at least in my opinion, it's a little easier to actually get the headshots. Now another thing you're going to want to do, and I do this all the time, or not do, is is uh, use the sprint button sparingly. Uh, I usually like to use the sprint button, I don't know why, but I use it way too often because if you come across an enemy and you're sprinting, it, you're you're probably gonna die. It's it's almost a sure thing because uh, in this game, if, if, even for most first person shooters, if you're sprinting and you come across someone, you are at an, a disadvantage. But especially in this game, since the controls are a lot more sluggish and I guess a little bit more live-like, that's what they were going for, uh, when you come out of the sprint, it takes a long time for you to actually be able to start shooting again. And this just puts you at a huge disadvantage um, when you actually come across someone. So my main advice is use the use a sprint button only when you think you're going to be safe or only when you have to so if you're trying to get from cover to cover that's an appropriate time to actually use a sprint button uh, but if you're just kind of moving around uh, generally and you're just trying to get to somewhere quicker just because uh, i would kind of hold off on the sprint but the sprint button now for my last tip and this more applies to the earlier thing i was talking about which was staying out of the middle but you're you're going to want to stay at the fringe of the map because uh one of your main objectives is to try to make sure that the enemy has very few angles to actually shoot you from. And right there is a perfect example because I had my entire right side was exposed to enemy fire, and even my um, even in front of me was exposed. So yeah, just try to minimize the different areas or different angles that the enemy can shoot you from. And usually, staying at the fringe of the map definitely it, uh, reduces this uh, significantly. Uh, but to be completely honest, like I would mention earlier, Medal of Honor is a pretty frustrating game, and in my opinion, in my opinion, it's also a very unpolished game. And I don't get me wrong; I think Medal of Honor is a really fun game, but man, can it be frustrating! Uh, 
and why I say it's unpolished is because if I go around a corner really quick and I get enemy fire on me and then I, I quickly duck behind cover, I feel like I'm actually behind the cover but I still die for some reason and that just really gets on my nerves. And so sometimes it's not even your fault, even if, you, if you're playing really well and you know, for whatever reason, stuff like this happens and you just die. It can get frustrating and it can kind of ruin your game. So if these are actually occurring to you, uh, don't fret. It's just, it's at least in my opinion, it's just kind of part of the game because it's just not very polished right now. And hopefully they're going to release some patches to kind of clear this up and make it a little bit more enjoyable. But yeah, guys, this about wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it and weren't too turned off by the fact that I was getting completely dominated by the enemy team. Uh, but hopefully you guys learned a couple things from the tips that I gave. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, this video was for the Next Gen Tactics Directors Contest, so if you would like to give me some support for that, just give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below, and I will greatly appreciate that. But also make sure to subscribe to Next Gen Tactics and NGT Games. I couldn't be more thankful for them for even giving me the opportunity to be a part of this great contest. And also they have great content that I know you guys will really enjoy. Um, but also make sure to check out all the other contestants. They have a lot of great gameplay and commentary that is, is spectacular. Uh, so go check that out. And yeah, guys, have a good one and take it easy.